my mom I know is worried about me but she doesn't show it every day before work she she tells me she loves me and to stay strong um, she's really been just my my rock through all of this starting shift here we go I'm 26 years old and I'm a nurse on the infectious disease floor and now it's 100% a COVID unit. We've been dealing with a lot of deaths. We've had some discharges, but I, I feel like now we're only focusing on do not intubate, do not resuscitate. We've called family members and we've told them that your son or your father, or your mother, your husband are in the final hours of their life. I've had some people say, don't talk like that. Some family members say, you're gonna pull through it, you're gonna get through this. So kind of just like, the theme is denial that this is happening, which makes sense, it's only human. There was a patient who had esophageal cancer and with the cancer, he had two years to live. He got COVID and they gave him like a week but his wife was refusing for him to die in comfort care. So we transferred him to the ICU to be intubated. I think that my first thought at this time is that's, that's someone's spot for a ventilator. And as a, as a healthcare professional, I've never had to, to think that way ever. And I hate that this virus is making me think who gets to live. We shouldn't have to do that for people. I couldn't imagine my mom going through this or my brothers or my family having to make that decision of being DNR, DNI for my family members. It's just crippling. I feel helpless right now. Um, I feel like there's nothing that I can do to help people. And as a nurse, I feel like that's, that's how my, that's how I get my energy. And I, and I'm not really getting that now. I've had really high anxiety. I've called out sick one uh, day last week because I couldn't, my mind just couldn't, um, get me out of bed it was it was too it was too much so I found a therapist who's helping me deal with what we call compassion fatigue but it's still there's no separation between work and home anymore I, I go to work and I deal with this virus and then I go home and it's like is it on me or is it is it in my house like is it you know is my family or are my friends gonna get it it's just like, it's just traumatic. Does it make you wonder if you'll still be in nursing, Kelsey, after this experience? Yeah. The last week, I think the saddest for me was we had a patient, he was on our floor, our COVID floor, but he was stable enough. But his wife was in the ICU who was COVID positive. And so we were doing everything we could so that this patient could wheel to the ICU so that he could say goodbye to his wife. And just having to go through that, like every day you're at work and like knowing that this is what it's gonna be like when you go to work now. It's like I've been robbed of joy. I've seen the sickest of the sick. So fast forward two years from now and someone comes in who's not sick. I mean, am I going to be still empathetic? Am I going to show the compassion and love that I, I did before this? I don't know. And I'm doing my best, but it's like this virus is just winning, I feel like. You are seeing some people get better and get discharged. Mm -hmm. And it's nice when 
I had a woman who I had the past three days on my shifts. She looked at me and she said, Kelsey, am I getting better? And I told her, yeah, you are. You're breathing better, you're looking better. One patient did tell me that when he gets out, he's gonna hug me so tight, but I told him, I told him no. <laughs> Any other day I'd allow it, but not right.